Welcome to the podcast, Claim Your Excellent Life, with your host, Suzanne Kellner Zink, where she helps professional women learn how to be happy. Suzanne will teach you how to do this through building high self esteem, relaxation and calm, and good, healthy relationships. Tune in every week as Suzanne shares effective strategies to help you claim your excellent life with happiness techniques, self esteem building exercises, relationship tips, and relaxation information. Make sure to head over to dawningvisions.com to subscribe to the newsletter to receive your keys to happiness, as well as other useful free gifts for you. In today's episode of Claim Your Excellent Life, we are going to answer a question that was asked by somebody on Quora. Quora is a forum where people ask questions and other people answer them. And anyone can ask questions and anyone can answer them from all over the world. And the question that was asked by this particular person was, why do people think that the ones who become psychologists are actually problematic themselves? I answered this question. And I answered it really honestly because I think people deserve to have transparency and answers so that they can trust the responses given on forms like this. So what I had stated on here was because people, even including myself, who get into the field of psychology, either a psychologist or psychiatrist or social workers, it doesn't matter, mental health provider, do so because they had problems of their own that they needed to contend with. And this is really true. Sometimes as a person themselves, sometimes it's someone in their family and that's what got them interested in it. However, there's a really sad reality here because a lot of the folks who go into the field, although through their training are supposed to get therapy themselves, really never clear a lot of their problems and so they create some problems for their patients who disappear from their practices and they don't really understand why. And the reason this happens is because the issues that the therapist hasn't resolved in their own life, they get projected onto their patients in different ways. A lot of times what will happen is, let's say there's a patient of theirs who will come in and they'll have some complaints about their spouse. And the therapist doesn't know the spouse, never met the spouse, spouse isn't a part of the process. And the patient's going on and on and on about what a bastard or bitch the spouse is. And then what will happen is if the therapist has been in negative relationships, maybe went through a really bad divorce or something, they'll take the side of the patient saying, okay to be this angry and you have a right to feel the feelings that you feel, which they do have the right to feel the feelings that they feel. But this is the problem. The only way to resolve feelings toward other people, including oneself, is forgiveness. You don't get it by heightening the emotion that's causing the distress. You get it by showing them how to forgive and teach them how to do that process, which is what I do with all my clients. Unless it's evident that the person is with a psychopath or someone who's really abusive to them, in which case other things need to be done. But in most cases, it takes two to make a marriage. It takes two to dissolve a marriage. So we need to take responsibility and help our clients take responsibility for our part in that. Sometimes they will spend a lot of time talking about themselves and their own stuff, which... If it's about how someone cleared a problem, I don't have a problem with it. I do that in my own practice. But the point here is it's never about complaining about life. It's about, okay, so we're dealing with the situation. This is what happened. This is how it was resolved. Why don't you try doing ABC? See what happens. This is wisdom. You're sharing wisdom. You know, this is fine. But the problem is a lot of times that they'll go on and on and on about their world and there's nothing about resolution and that can feel really not only as a boundary break where they feel like they're feeling sorry for the person that is being paid by them to take care of them but 
it's also a matter of not feeling secure in that relationship because this person is going on about their problems instead of resolutions to the problems. And that can be a real problem. And my main issue was that I want all these people mental health not only to clear their own issues, but to learn hypnosis and learn linguistic programming because it's so much faster and so less traumatic than conventional psychology where you're working in the conscious mind, reinvigorating the power of the problem by talking about it over and over again. My clients come in to see me. We go through their history once. That's it. I create a treatment plan. We clear all the events. We do the forgiveness work. We do the inner child work. We do a lot of really cool future pacing, which means seeing themselves in the future, achieving the goals that they've set for themselves, which is really the results of the work. It's so much better to look at health and healing versus what is the problem in managing a problem. Because most of these problems don't need to be managed. They need to be cleared and given the client a way to move on with their lives in a way that's healthy, fulfilling, and brings contentment to their lives. Because this is the other thing. If a person has developed some kind of psychological or psychiatric issue, it's because there was some pain, P-A-I-N, emotional or otherwise, that they need to clear. They need to find out why that was brought on and why they created the thoughts, the behaviors, and habits to help them to not feel those pains anymore, being an addiction or eating disorder or you know, even anxiety, obsessive compulsive disorder. These things all serve a purpose for the client. Until we understand what that purpose is, we really can't clear it. And I'm going to tell you, drugs, medication, it's not the way to do it in 99% of these cases. It really isn't. What's necessary is correct nutrition, and if there is an event or a bunch of events that cause these issues to come up, that cause the dysfunctional behavior and thoughts, then we best get to the bottom of it, clear it out, and help them to meet their compelling future. That would be the objectives that they want to meet to make their lives happy and fulfilled. So anyway, that was basically my answer to this particular question. I thought it was a really good question, and I was ready to get pounded on it, but I did tell these psychs, and I'm going to tell you all too, please don't sit here and tell me. I don't know what I'm talking about. I have 35 years professionally working in the field. I have gone through my own process as well. I do believe that 35 years, three and a half decades, is more than enough to allow me the right to have an opinion based on my years of experience with my clients, many of whom have testimonials on my website at dawningvisions.com. They make me look like I walk on water, but let me tell you this. They had to do the work. All I could do was facilitate it. There you go. As always, I thank you for spending your time with me. Till next time. If you have enjoyed Claim Your Excellent Life, we'd really appreciate it if you go over to iTunes and give it a five-star review. If you have found Claim Your Excellent Life to be helpful to you, and maybe even life-altering with the information that we have shared here, and to allow us to continue this work, which we really do enjoy doing for you, you can sponsor us at patreon.com. That's spelled P as in Paul, A-T-R-E-O-N as in Nancy, dot com. Again, that's P as in Paul, A-T as in Tom, R E O N S and Nancy dot com, where there's a few different levels of sponsorship that you can choose from to help us to continue doing this work. We thank you for any assistance that you are able to give us. Thank you for listening to the podcast Claim Your Excellent Life with your host, Suzanne Kellner Zink where she helps professional women learn how to be happy. Suzanne teaches you how to do this through building high self-esteem, relaxation and calm, and good, healthy relationships. Tune in every week as Suzanne shares effective strategies to help you claim your excellent life. 
with happiness techniques, self-esteem building exercises, relationship tips, and relaxation information. Make sure to head over to dawningvisions.com to subscribe to the newsletter to receive your keys to happiness as well as other useful free gifts for you.